Hello, my friends. Welcome to your art class. It's me, your art teacher, Mr. Mingoni. I'm really excited about our lesson today. Uh, today, we're going to be making a love train. That's right, a love train. Because, you know, I always like to say, we want to make our art with love, right? And what does that mean? That means you're thinking about things that you love when you make your art. You're loving yourself when you make your art. You're loving your art. Love is all part of the process of making your art. It's really important so that you have a nice, positive experience. And when you make your art with love, guess what? People can tell. And that's a really important part of making something is putting your love into it. So that's kind of part of what we're doing today. Also, trains are awesome, right? We love trains. So we're going to make a cool train, and it's going to be um, full of things that you love. That's how we're going to make a love train. So I'm going to aim my camera down here. And you can draw along with me if you want, or if you want to, you can watch the video and then draw afterwards, however you want to do it. Also, um, just a reminder, as I always say, your art does not have to look just like mine, okay? Because everybody's art is different. I don't expect you to be drawing the same love train that I draw, because you know what? We all love different things and I want it to look like your own thing. So I don't expect you to copy every single step. You definitely can get some ideas from what I'm drawing, but I want you to put your own spin on it and be creative with what you're drawing. All right, and you can use any art supplies that you have at home. You can use pencils, pens, markers, crayons, whatever you can find. Even if all you have is one pencil, and an old piece of notebook paper, doesn't matter. As long as you're making something, that's what is important. I think I'm gonna start this one. I'm gonna start with pencil. So I actually need to find myself a pencil. Just a second. Here, I have my pencils. And the reason I'm gonna use a pencil first, and this is, this is always a good idea when you do your art, is to use a pencil first. Because, you know what? We make mistakes sometimes. And what does a pencil have? It has an eraser, right? So the cool thing about a pencil is that you can erase things. Also, even if it's not a mistake, maybe sometimes you just draw something and it looks good, but you're like, well, maybe I want to change that a little bit. The pencil lets you kind of adjust things and change things. So it's a really good way to do it. And I'm going to show you how I do that. Because what I'm going to do is draw with pencil first, and then I'm going to outline it with my marker. So you'll kind of see how that process works. Outlining. So my love train. There's a lot of different types of trains. Okay, so... Um, you know, there's a lot of different ways to do it. I'm gonna draw kind of like a classic kind of train. Almost like Thomas the Tank Engine, if you've ever heard of that guy. All right, so like everything else, we start with shapes. So I'll start with a rectangle. Probably a good shape to start with for a train car. All right, and, and this kind of classic style of train has a part on the front, like that, and a little steam little part here for the steam to come out right and then maybe it has another little part over like this that's cool and you know what I'll draw a couple different trains here so that you can see different styles of train actually hang on it's going this way this is the way I'm drawing it okay you also could draw a more modern train that might have like a curved front like this. Might have a look like that for the, the front of the train, right? Maybe it's got a window here. And maybe some windows on the side, some nice glass windows, right? Maybe it's got like a stripe on the bottom, something like that. So we've all seen a train like that too. There's lots of different types of trains. And if you want to look up pictures of trains, too, you can find pictures of trains. So, for this one here, I'm going to draw some round wheels. And then, 
This kind of train has like a bar that goes across the wheels. I'm sure you've seen that and it kind of spins around with the wheels like that. And maybe I'll add a little design to it. I might draw some lines around the edges just, just for decorations. And then maybe a number. I'll put a number seven just because I like that number. It's a cool number. Oh, and also, of course, it's a love train, so I'm going to do some hearts. That's probably a good design for my love train. And then this up here, this is where the conductor sits, I'm pretty sure. So we've got to have little windows there so the conductor can see. All right. So, and maybe I'll draw like a little bumper thing on the front. I don't know. There's lots of different details you could add. So that's how I drew the front of my train. This more simple one, you know, the wheels on this train, uh, you're not going to see them as much. But you can still, you know, draw some wheels under there. A lot of times they have a little thing kind of covering up the wheels on the bottom. So you can also draw a train track if you want to. A train track is very simple. You're just going to draw a line, goes across, and another line. And then it's going to have little lines going this way. And that's a very simple train track. You could make it more complex if you want to, or keep it simple. That's totally up to you. It's nice to have something for your trains to go on to, though. It adds a lot of effect for that. I'm just going to say this one. I'm going to put a little curved track here to show this one's kind of just sitting in the train yard. It's not on the main track. It's just kind of sitting there so that you can see it. Oh, want to see a cool trick I like to do for windows? Watch this. All you do is you put two lines this way and like one line that way. And look at that, it looks like a shiny window. You just draw a couple of those diagonal lines. Isn't that neat? Maybe you could add another one there. Gives it a nice window shine. Trains have a light on the front too, so they can see at night. So maybe you wanna draw that little, that little love light. Okay, this one might have like some lights here too. All right, and now is when we get to get really imaginative with it. All right, we're gonna have train cars going behind, and the train cars are gonna have things that you love. So I'll start with kind of a basic train car, which is gonna be just a rectangle. Okay, and I'll, and I'll add the wheels on the bottom too. And then, you know, maybe it might have like a thing on the top and maybe some lines coming down like this. This is like a, you know, like a shipping crate. This is the kind of car that they just put lots of things inside. So, um, I'm gonna think of what do I love? What do I wanna have on this train? And we can get really silly with this. Um, it doesn't have to be like a real looking train. It can be really silly. So I think I'll, I'll get a little sillier as I go. But first, this one's just gonna be full of things that I love. You know what this one's gonna have? Let's see. All of my favorite toys. This one's gonna be full of my favorite toys. So, here's a box of Legos. I love me some Legos. I wonder who out there plays with Legos. You know what's funny? I started playing with Legos when I was a kid. And I grew up, I got older. You know what? I just never stopped. I still love playing with Legos. I've got Legos behind me right now. It's just a fun toy, especially for creative people like us, to build things and try things all different ways. What are some other favorite toys? I love my computer. My computer that I'm using right now. I like to play games on it and chat with my friends on there and you know what? I even teach for, teach on there. Another reason to love my computer because it's how I get to all of you, my lovely students that I love so much. So here's my computer. And I'll put a heart on it. What are some other toys that I love? Ooh, I love my piano, my keyboard. Because I love to play music. The music makes me happy. And on a good day, it makes other people happy too. I can only hope. What 
Chris Mother are my favorite toys. See, so right now what I'm doing, I'm thinking of things that I love. And it's making me feel happy. And not only is that good for me, but it's good for my art. If you're happy when you're making your art, your art's going to be even better. Hmm, I do love my longboard, which is like a skateboard. It's like a long skateboard, okay? And I really love riding my, my longboard. love riding that thing on a nice summer day and good weather. I have a helmet though. I'll put my helmet there by it too. You gotta be safe. Of course you gotta be safe. Protect that beautiful noggin. That beautiful brain of yours. And I love... What else do I love? Buzz Lightyear. Hello. Who doesn't love Buzz Lightyear? He's one of the coolest toys there is. He even has karate chop action. I'll draw his karate chop action. He's going, hey ya! I used to have a Buzz Lightyear when I was a kid, and a Woody, and I kept them, and now I have a son, and guess what? I gave them to him. It's very, very special. So he's still one of my favorite toys. Looks like I got room for one more of my favorite toys. Hmm. What's a toy that I like to play with? You know what? How about just a big ball? You know, like a big yoga ball or like a kickball? Man. It's such a simple toy, but it's so fun. You can bounce on it, you can kick it around in the yard. Not a lot is more fun than just a big ball. So, I'm gonna put a big heart on this car too. Maybe all my cars will have hearts on it because it's a love train full of all the things I love. Okay. On our next car. Now is when I'm gonna get really silly with it. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with it, okay? This one is gonna be really tall. I don't think there's ever really going to be a train car like this one, okay? This is, it's, it just isn't gonna make sense, but it's gonna be a fun drawing. And what this one's gonna be is like a restaurant that has all my favorite foods. And on the top, there's a nice balcony for people to sit with tables and chairs. I don't know if that would really be safe. That's why it's not a realistic thing, but it's just for fun. And there's even a piano up there so that they can have someone playing some nice dinner music. Because I just can't get enough of music. And you know it, you're hearing my music right now. I even like listening to music while we're teaching and learning. And we'll put some little hearts on the sides of this railing just for a little extra effect. And this is my restaurant. It's called... It's called... I'm gonna give it a fancy name. Chateau de M. I don't really speak French, but I think that means House of M. And I'm Mr. M. It's just a, I don't really speak French, so I could be wrong. It's just a silly drawing though, but I think Chateau du M. Let me look it up just to make sure. He says here it's the castle of, which could maybe mean house too, but yeah, it's the castle of M. That's cool, that's a cool name. Chateau du M. And well, what kind of food are we gonna have here? Well, I'm gonna draw the windows. And I'm gonna put some clues inside to show all the different foods that we have in there. Okay, up here, we've got a brick oven. And they're cooking pizza! My number one favorite food. 
cooking pizza and of course we gotta have a chimney so our train just chugs out that delicious pizza smell and this picture is all about adding lots of little details just keep adding lots and lots of stuff to it and what else are we gonna have in here gotta have my favorite fruit I'll have a fruit bar with all my favorite fruits here is the watermelon number one fruit in my opinion also you know what else I love pineapple hello it's like eating candy but it's fruit mm, what other fruits do I really like plums I love me some plums so here's my fruit bar you can get some pizza you can get some fruit and then oh you know what they're gonna have here this is gonna be a little bar where they can make you you can come sit here and they'll make you some slushies Mmm, it sounds a little weird in the winter time, but man, on a hot summer day, a slushy is one of my favorite things. And here's the guy, I think they call this guy a soda jerk. Isn't that a funny name? It's not like he's being a jerk. That's a funny name, because he's actually very nice. But this guy who sits behind here and makes you some sodas, they used to call him a soda jerk. Kind of silly. What a jerk. Yeah, not really. I'm just playing. And here's where the slushy stuff comes out. Cool. And there's little seats for people to sit at. Nice little restaurant in there. Cool. And I'm going to come up with some more cars for my love train. What else could I add? Maybe like a somewhere that you can play, right? So I'll start with my rectangle shape. That's a good place to start. Add the wheels. And this one will have a trampoline on top, which of course probably wouldn't be safe in real life, but it's just a silly picture, so we can have fun with it. And I'll have some kids playing. They'll be wearing helmets at least, how's that? We gotta make it safe. And then here's like a bar thing, and they'll have a little harness, so they don't fly off the train. There we go, we made it safe. You can trampoline on top of my train and still be safe. Wahoo! How fun. And then inside, guess what's in here? It's a swimming pool, oh yeah. What could be more fun than swimming in a train? Just have some kids playing in there, splishing and splashing. And I'll draw the water in there. And maybe a tube and some fun noodles. Pool toys. How fun! A swimming pool in a train. So this train is so far full of all kinds of things that I love. And then my final train car. I have room for one more. This is going to be the caboose. Okay, the caboose is... It, that just means the back of the train. And a lot of times it's kind of a shorter car and it'll have like a little rail on the back like this. So that somebody can stand out there if they need to. And then this one's just gonna kind of have some regular train windows, like maybe people can just sit in there and relax. But on top, it's gonna have a big decoration, okay? And since this is my love train, it's gonna have a big heart. And it's gonna be like a heart that's made of flowers. So I'm gonna put all these designs that are meant to look like it's made of flowers. And everyone sees that and they think, wow, that's an amazing love train. I'm gonna finish decorating my heart here. And then, I'm gonna show you some things about outlining your picture. If that's something you're interested in doing, it's definitely a good thing to do. So what I can do is I'm using pencil first, right? Say there was something I wanted to change. Like for instance, this bungee cord, this doesn't look long enough. 
Maybe I want to make it look like it's longer. Well, I used my pencil first, so I can kind of change it so it looks like it's a little longer. You see that? You can you can go in and change a thing here or there, right? Um, what else might I want to change? Let's see. This window, I accidentally made a line wrong on that window. So I'll just erase that line in the middle and kind of draw it like that, you see? So you can fix things, you can change things. These wheels, I could probably do that a little better on some of those wheels. Looks like I rushed through it. So I can fix a few of those wheels so it looks a little better, right? So that's why, that's why we use a pencil first, so that we, we can fix our mistakes, okay? We can, you know, with love, we can say, I tried my best on that, but it didn't turn out that good, and I can fix it, all right? You don't have to be mad at yourself if you make mistakes. You do it lovingly, you fix it. Okay, so I drew my love train, now I'm gonna outline it. I'm going to use a black marker for this outline, but you can use anything. You can use like a pen or anything that's like darker than your pencil. You could use a darker crayon if you want. You could use blue or red or whatever. I'm just gonna use black for now. And what outlining means is you're kind of drawing around the edges of your shapes to make them really stand out. Now, here's the secret, okay? You don't have to draw every single detail. All right, you don't have to draw like all of Buzz Lightyear's eyes and all his buttons and all the piano keys. You just do the basic shapes. Let me show you what I mean. I'm just gonna go around the outside of this train car. You see that? Just going around the outside edge. And this is the part that, you know, I can't erase this part. So once you're outlining it, you're saying, well, this is, I have this now exactly how I want it to be, okay? And if there's some other parts you wanna stand out, like maybe I want people to really see the seven, maybe I really want them to see the hearts. I'll outline that too. And that's pretty much it. Maybe I'll, you know, you go in and add a few extra lines, that's fine. But you don't have to draw every single detail. So I'm gonna go in and outline this one. I'm just gonna do the box here. I'm gonna do the heart. And I'm gonna start by just going around the outside of my toys so that they really stand out in the picture. That's good. I could even, you know, if I wanna go around each toy like, I wanna be like, this one's my computer, this one's the Lego, this one's the skateboard, here's the piano, here's Buzz Lightyear, right? I can kind of draw around each one. Still, I don't have to do every detail. I don't have to do the piano keys, I don't have to do all the letters on the Lego box. Just go around the outside. Keep it simple for yourself. And add whatever other details you think you need to add. Maybe I'll do the wheels, that's fine. This one, I'll go around here. I'll outline the railing here a little bit. And I'll outline the windows. And I'll outline my Chateau du M. See? Simple. See the difference between this and this, right? This looks a little more finished. And when, also when I color this, it's gonna look really cool too. I'll line my trampoline and my train car. Wheels. There we go. Okay, looks pretty cool. I've got a little bit of time left. Oh, I forgot this guy. I've got a little bit of time left. I've got about five minutes left here. So I'm just gonna do some coloring on this for the rest of it. Nothing super special going on with that, just your regular old coloring. So probably gonna turn off my microphone and just color so you can you're working on your art, you can watch me color, and just relax for the rest of the, the art lesson, okay? Um, before I do that, a quick announcement. We are gonna have an art hangout. That means that people can join me in a little meeting, 
and we can make art together and share our art with each other. It's going to be really cool. So, in the description to this video, and you, you're going to need probably a teacher's help or a parent's help with this or somebody. In the description to this video, there is a code that you can enter into Google Classroom. And you'll join that Google Classroom for the Art Hangout. Inside there, I will post the time and date of the Art Hangout. And I'll post a link to the meeting. So you can click on that link on the right time and day, and you can join our Art Hangout. Okay? So that's going to be really fun. So look in the description to this YouTube video to find the code to join the Google Classroom and get all the information you need from there. The Art Hangout is not something that you need to do. It's an extra fun thing. So you don't have to do it. Don't worry about it. All right, and this, these pictures, once again, you don't have to turn these in. I only collect one every trimester, so it's going to be a while before we have to turn another one in. You just make this for your own enjoyment, but you can send it to me if you want. I love seeing my students' art, so feel free to send it to me if you want. All right, take care, everybody. Keep making your art with love. Love yourself. Love your art. Love the people around you. Surround yourself with love. The more love you put out into the world, the more love is going to come back to you, and that's a beautiful thing. It's like a magical boomerang. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to enjoy coloring the rest of this for about five minutes, and I'll see you next time, everybody. Bye-bye.